All right, week 14 in the NFL. Thursday nighter kicks off tomorrow night. Dallas, three-point road favorites in Chicago. The Bears are 4-0 against the spread in December. The under is 5-0 with the Bears as an underdog. Now, this one, both teams 6-6. Six six. Dallas, the Eagles, neither one of them seems to want to win the division. They're both just blowing leads, losing to teams they shouldn't lose to. They're both much better teams than this. I don't know what's going on with either one of them right now. I think that this game is going to be close. I think the Bears D is good enough to contain Dallas and keep the game within reason. I don't know what Trubisky is actually going to be able to do on offense if the Bears will be able to do anything. So I see this as a field goal game. Therefore, I got to pick the Bears against the spread, but I like Dallas to win the game. I think they'll end up winning it with a last second field goal or something like that. Uh, Baltimore on the road, six-point favorites in Buffalo. Both these teams look to be going to the playoffs. The home team is 6-1 and one against the spread in the last seven games versus each other. However, the three-headed rushing attack in Baltimore is just unbelievable, led by Lamar Jackson. I, I think they're almost unstoppable right now. I like them to win this game by more than a touchdown, regardless it's in Buffalo or not. Uh, so I will take Baltimore and the, the against spread and to win the game. Sorry. Washington on the road plus 13 against Green Bay. They are Green Bay is 13 point home favorites. The Packers at home in December. Do you really got to say much more, especially with Aaron Rodgers? The home team is 4-1-1 one one against the spread versus each other in the last six. Um, Washington are 0-3-1 against the spread in Green Bay in their last four games. I like Green Bay to roll in this one pretty easily, especially, like I said, Green Bay in December. Aaron Jones, Aaron Rodgers, they seem to be getting healthy. Uh, they had that one little blowout loss that I think might have got them on track and had them taking things a lot more seriously. Now I like them to roll. I'll pick them to win and cover the spread in this one. The Broncos on the road in Houston. The Texans are a much better home team. Drew Locke, uh, I, th I think the Broncos' Locke should be able to hook up with Sutton enough to keep this game within the nine points. Houston is nine point home favorites. Uh, I have no doubt Houston will win this game, but I like Denver to cover the spread. San Fran on the road, two and a half point underdogs to New Orleans. New Orleans, two and a half point favorites. San Fran, 10 and. 4-0 against the spread, sorry, as a three-pointer less underdog and as a road underdog, they are 4-0 as well. The road team is 4-0 against the spread in their last four meetings. San Fran is 5-1 against the spread in the last five head-to-head. -head. San Fran's second-ranked run D, or red zone D, sorry, and the Injuries on the O-line to the Saints could be a big issue for Drew Brees. I like San Fran to straight up win this game and therefore cover the points that they are taking as underdogs. All my spreads and numbers come from Bet365. That's the site I use to gamble on. I'm not promoting gambling. You got to choose what you do. And obviously you got to be over 18 or 21, whatever the rules are in your country or state or province or wherever you are. Cincinnati on the road, eight-point underdogs to Cleveland. The Browns, eight-point favorites at home. I don't like big numbers and divisional rivalries. 5-0 uh, oh against the spread in Cleveland is Cincinnati in the last five. Since he is 8-1 and one against the spread last nine versus road. Road team is 4-1 and one against the spread in the last five versus each other. The Bengals' 32nd run D. I don't know, that could be an issue with Chubb and Kareem Hunt, though. So, this one's a bit of a toss-up. I, I think Cleveland wins the game. Cincinnati covers the spread. Cleveland, once again, eight-point home favorites. Uh, Carolina on the road, three-point underdogs to Atlanta. Panthers fire their coach, Rivera, out. Panthers are 0-4 against the spread in their last four versus Atlanta and in Atlanta. Atlanta on the other side is 0-4 as favorites versus teams with losing records. That would be Carolina. The under is 10-2-1 in the last 13 head-to-head -head matchups. I think Christian McCaffrey and Carolina will get revenge. Maybe be a little jacked up from their coach getting fired. You usually get a game or two, or in like hockey and basketball, you maybe get 10 or 12 games with a new coach where the team gets a spark and 
might go on like a seven and three or eight and two run or something. I, I think Carolina will be able to take care of business in Atlanta, win the game outright, and cover the spread. Detroit is 12 and a half point road underdogs in Minnesota. The Vikings, well, the favorite is 4 and 0 against the spread versus each other. Detroit 0 and 4 against the spread the last four versus. Versus uh, the road team is 4 and 1 in the last five versus. Stafford still out, it looks like. So Minnesota, 12 and a half point home favorites. They should roll. They should win this by a couple touchdowns easy, maybe even 17, 20 points. This game shouldn't be close. I like Minnesota a lot in this one. Miami Dolphins, five and a half point road underdogs in New York to face the Jets. Jets are five and a half point home favorites, divisional game. Both teams are real shit this year. I don't understand this line at all. I am definitely taking my hammy to win this game, and I am taking them to cover the spread, obviously, as they're underdogs. The Dolphins are 3-0-1 against spreading the last four head-to-head. -head. The underdog is 3-1-1 versus a against the spread the last five head-to-head -head. uh fits <laughs> fits patrick sorry i can't talk tonight versus a bad jets d i like i said i'm taking miami to win and cover indianapolis on the road to face tampa bay the bucks are three point home favorites the colts are four and oh against the spread head-to-head -head. uh I just don't know that the Colts can win a shootout in this game, though, to be honest with you. And I see this being a shootout. Arians has Tampa Bay at least playing with confidence, which to me seems just improbable with the amount of fucking picks and turnovers that this team has. Like, But I, I just can't bet against Tampa Bay this week versus a Colts team that has a lot of injury problems. And I just don't think Brissett has the weapons to be able to keep up and keep pace with the Bucks offense. So I have to pick Tampa at home as the three point home favorites to win and cover the spread. Uh, the LA Chargers at Jacksonville, the Chargers, are, the Chargers are three point road favorites, sorry, but their minus 14 turnover ratio scares me. But then you look at the flip side in Jacksonville, they've lost their last four games by a total of 82 points. Now, Nick Foles is now benched, which means it's the return of Gardner Minshew. So, will he be revitalized? Will they give it a little spark? I don't know. I can't trust either one of these teams, so I'll just go with the home team. It's a field goal, so I'll pick Jacksonville to cover the spread, but the Chargers to win it by a last-second field goal because I think they're just a slightly better team. Kansas City on the road at New England. This game should be good. Um... The Chiefs are three-point road dogs. New England's three-point home favorites. I, I love this matchup. I would normally love this matchup, but all the Brady being washed up talk is just fucking ridiculous. Look at the injuries he's had to key positions. The line's been beat up. They got younger players coming in and, and replacing those injured players instead of vets that would normally be filling in in the, in the rotation under Belichick and uh, Brady era. So... Just ease off. Let them get healthy. Belichick will scheme. He'll game plan. I think the Chiefs will get them this week just because of those woes. They're not quite fixed. New England just needs to get healthy and get right for the playoffs. And they'll be fine. Their only tough, their only tough contest in the playoffs, I think, will be Baltimore, who I like to win it all. I like them a lot this year to win the whole thing. But whatever. Lay off Brady is my only point. The underdog is 4-1 against the spread in the last five. Injuries, injuries, injuries. Like I said. So Kansas City to win and cover this one. I like them to straight up take out New England. I think they just got a little too much with the injuries and the problems that New England has right now. Pittsburgh on the road. Two and a half point favorites in Arizona. I just got to shout out Mike Tomlin, man. The things that Pittsburgh's gone through, the players they've lost and everything, and the way he has this team playing. Like, both him and the Dolphins coach. I just love them two coaches a lot right now. The way they get their teams competing game in and game out, regardless of what the situation record. There are obviously two teams heading different directions. Dolphins have, what, three wins, and Pittsburgh is fighting for a playoff spot. I, I, what's the right? They got seven wins right, right now or whatever it is. I can't remember. Um, man, can you trust the Steelers at the end of the season on the road? Last year, who was it they lost to on the road? Uh, that basically cost them the playoffs. Uh, Oakland in Oakland so like 
I don't know what to do, but I, I'm going to roll with Pittsburgh because Tomlin's won me over. He, Arizona was embarrassed by the Rams last week, and they are not around a 500 team where I would take them in that situation. So I'm going to roll with Pittsburgh on the road to, to win this by a field goal, seven points, or something like that. Tennessee Titans on the road, two and a half point road favorites in Oakland, who I just talked about. Um, Ryan Tannehill is what now four and one, five and one as a starter with the Titans. Derrick Henry, unbelievable season again after he took over went halfway through or near the end of last year and just blew up or was it two seasons ago or whatever it was. Derrick Henry, man, kid's been doing amazing. Um, Oakland lost the last two games by a combined total of seventy-four to nine total score for two games how do you lose two games 74 to 9 I know they've been beat up and beat up and beat up they might have one of the longer injury lists in the NFL this year I like Tennessee to roll I think this number is way too small I, I think it's just Oakland money coming in or something like that but Tennessee I like to roll in this one by at least a touchdown I'm all over them as against the spread and straight up Seattle Took over number one spot. Big win over San Fran last week. They're in LA to face the Rams. Seahawks are one point favorites. They're seven to five against the spread this year. The Rams are eight and four against the spread. Jadavian Clowney's out. A long, long list of questionables for this week for Seattle. The IR list is really long for the Seahawks. Uh, I don't know, I, I, I see just a I like Seattle. I, I like Russell Wilson. But I just see a letdown game. If they're they're gonna have a letdown, this is gonna be the time they're gonna have a letdown. No, I'm just picking the Rams on this one because of that. No, understandably, I, I could see a lot of people picking Seattle. They are the better team. Uh, the, the Rams have been a bit of a disappointment this year. I'm not picking the Rams because of all the facts and, and and who the better team is right now. I'm picking them because of the injuries to Seattle, and I see it as a bit of a letdown after a couple big, big wins to climb atop of the NFL with the best record in the league. Uh, the final game, the Monday Nighter. What a Monday Nighter. <laughs> NFC East, New York Giants, Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles are 10-point home favorites against the Giants. And Daniel Jones is out. I believe it's a high ankle sprain or in a walking boot, which means Eli Manning is in. That could fix the woes of the Eagles for one week, but that's what we thought last week against Miami. So I don't know who to trust in this game. I will... Well, I think the Eagles will win the game. I just can't decide whether or not they will cover the spread. So I'll just pick them to cover the spread because I've been wrong on them so much this year that it doesn't fucking matter anymore. So I'll just roll with the Eagles to cover the 10 points at home against the Giants and therefore still be one game back at Dallas by the time the weekend's over. That's my week 14 picks. Peace.